Manny Ortiz. Oh, I oh, think hey. I know you. You want right? a picture? I think I know you, right? Do you want a photo? I'm um, sure. Sig signature? Give me a marker. I'll okay. sign your boob. I think. <laughs> Today I'm going to showcase some new software that can literally bring your photos back from the dead. It's an extension from Luminar Neo and it's called Noiseless AI. I took some photos of Diana at night in terrible lighting. Diana was not happy about these, all right? And on top of that, I was shooting images at 10,000, 12,000 ISO. These images fell apart faster than a Nature Valley granola bar. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Luminar. Neo, but I'm not going to sit here and hype anything up to you. I'm just going to show you what it can do. And I, I, the results honestly speak for themselves. Also, we're going to do a small giveaway and we're going to give you guys some free activation codes. All right. I'm not going to make you jump through loops or anything. It's very easy, but just stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win. Love it to the bank, like. This first image was taken at 8,000 ISO. It's super grainy and the lighting was not the greatest. Uh, when I open up Noises AI, it recommends what level of noise reduction that I should use. So I'm gonna you know, go with the flow here. So this is probably the only negative part of using Noises AI and is that it takes consistently about a minute to process on even my very powerful MacBook. I spoke to Luminar about this and they said that it takes this long because it's processing every image the same, meaning that you can toggle between low, medium and high right up there when it's done without any waiting, right? So it almost processes it almost like it's high, but you can always adjust after without any waiting. When it finishes, you can see how it pretty much erases all of the, the grain and digital noise on Diana's face. And what's crazy is how it maintains the, the color and the integrity of her skin without making it look all mushy like it would in a different program. I finished off the edit by adding some face light, making her eyes pop a little bit more, a little bit of skin smoothing, a little bit of a color tweak. And that was that. That's the final, that's, that's the final image right there. ISO 10,000. Yeah, we're at 10,000 right here. Her face is not really lit, but you know, I'm gonna just have to work with it. I'm gonna take one, actually I'm gonna take a wide angle right here and get some of the city and some of the buildings. All right, so I'm gonna get down here. Please forgive me for distorting you a little bit, but it's gonna happen. So I got two buildings there. I'm gonna fill the frame with those two buildings. And now when I'm shooting from a lower angle like this, you know, I am shooting up her nose and up her chin, but I don't have to be, so I'm gonna just ask you to just look down at me. All right, so this image was also shot at 8,000 ISO. I know the lighting is definitely trash. I would never use it for my personal work. I opened up Noises AI and I let it do its thing. It took about a minute and 10 seconds for it to process. I found that to be kind of consistent throughout all the images. After it finished, I maxed out all of the sliders. I even increased the details and sharpness all the way to give it some of that sharpness back. And what I like is that it looks natural. It doesn't look like it's artificial. It almost looks like it's just taking it back to where it was. I finished off the edit with one of my other favorite tools and that's Relight AI, where I'm able to increase the exposure on only Diana and not the background. I also use Portrait Boca to make her pop a little bit more and some other little adjustments like to make her eyes pop a little bit more just to you know make it more flattering it's not instagram worthy but you know i made the best of it 8000 8000 iso This shot was at 10,000 ISO and yeah, I know, I know the lighting is trash. Opened up Luminar and I clicked on low this time. And as you know, the person from Luminar told me it took the same amount of time as when I clicked high, right? It took about a minute and 10 seconds for it to process the image. So then I clicked on high to see how long I would have to wait. And it took about three seconds to complete. So what they said was, was true. 
To finish off the image, I used Relight AI to add some more light to Diana. I also used Atmosphere AI to, you know, create a little bit more of a foggy, hazy look to it, give it maybe more of a moody vibe. For color, I used one of the built-in presets. I did some minor face and skin adjustments, and then I used the erase tool to get rid of the guy in the background. I'm not gonna lie, that's an image I probably would never post on the internet, but I think this was a good example of how powerful this extension is. So I'm not gonna lie, the very first time that I used it, I was a little taken back by how long it took to run and process an image using Noises AI, but I just, I can't argue with the results. The way I, it just gets rid of noise, especially that digital noise without compromising the integrity of the skin, that was so impressive to me. I occasionally shoot professional baseball and during night games, when I'm around like 10,000 ISO on a 100 or 400 lens, a lot of the shots come out grainy and especially when I crop in and noiseless AI really helps save some of those that I originally wrote off. Now I did tell you in the beginning that um, we're gonna give away a couple of free activation codes for Luminar Neo. So to win, what do you have to do? All you gotta do is comment on this video. I would say subscribe and comment, but the truth is there's no way to verify if you actually subscribe. So I, I don't know, but all you gotta do is comment, nothing else. And in exactly seven days from today, I'm going to randomly pick a couple people in the comments. I'm gonna respond to your comment and then ask for your email so that I could send you your free copy of Luminar Neo. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'm on to the next one.